I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Flu Power World. And I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director. So what do we have here today, Mary? Just some ISO 68 hydraulic fluid. Hmm. We're going to do a demonstration today to show what water emulsified in fluid looks like and introduce a new product that might be able to solve this huge problem. Cool. So here we have this nice clean oil, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put a few drops of water in it from this dropper here. Seems like such a sin to, to put water in oil because you know, that's something you never want in your hydraulic fluid. It, it can cause aeration, it can cause cavitation, and a whole bunch of bad stuff, Mary. Yep, and look just what the few drops of water did to this fluid. It made it cloudy right away. Normally, if that happens, you have to change out your fluid and mm -hmm. completely clean out your system. But this new product, Dry Hydraulics hmm. Water Absorber, is designed to help save fluid before it's ruined. That's right. We met with the folks at uh, Dry Hydraulics at the Reliable Plant Show here in uh, Cleveland earlier this year, and they showed us how the molecular water absorbers continuously remove all forms of water, free, bound, emulsified, from hydraulic fluid. So we decided to put the technology to the test. Normally these beads would be inside of a stainless steel filter housing that is stored in the reservoir or via the smaller micro-dry tethered units, mm -hmm. but here we're just going to drop them into the fluid and watch the magic happen. So we pulled uh, sort of a food network trick of sorts here and uh, prepared some wet fluid with the absorbers a few days ago. So Mary, where is the one that we had that was emulsified 48 hours ago? Here it is. And as you can see, the hmm. oil is back to normal. We found that after 24 hours, the water was almost completely absorbed. Mm -hmm. To compare, here is some clean fluid, the treated fluid, and clearly the one that we just did that's got the emulsified water in it. Hmm. You can really see the difference. Clearly our sample is pretty small, so it may take longer for the absorption technology to work in a huge system. Sure. But this does appear to be a cool new tactic for keeping your hydraulic fluid dry. That's right. Uh, dry Hydraulic says that uh, fluid that sees heavy use should see a filter change out approximately every 30 days, uh, while intermittent use lasts probably more like 120 days. So if you're just storing the fluid, it can be changed annually. And when the water exceeds 300 parts per minute, it's definitely ready for a change. Mm. So clearly, monitoring your fluid and testing it is still necessary with this technology. It's just another tool in your maintenance tool belt. So make sure you stay dry, and thanks for watching. And as always, you can find a lot more videos on fluid power at www.fluidpowerworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.